Hello and welcome to Sats Comprehensive. My name is Ken Gaudi. The Silverstein Cryo 4 A-frame ligature comes in a solid attractive black box with an embossed logo and magnetic catch to keep the lid closed. Inside the box you'll find the warranty registration card, an instruction booklet and a Cryo 4 ligature. Under the plastic cover you'll find the Omni cap, which is a mouthpiece cap since the normal cap will not fit this ligature, and a small envelope containing four small rubber bridge pads, which can be placed on the bridge of the ligature to prevent scratches. The instruction booklet gives basic instructions on how to set up the ligature, but more detailed information can be found on their website or on their YouTube channel. The Omni cap is a small mouthpiece cap which should fit all mouthpieces, and is made of elastic silicone so that it's quiet if dropped. The bridge pads are there to protect the top surface of the mouthpiece from scratches. However, it will absorb some of the vibrations. So if you're not worried about possible scratches, then not using it will improve the quality of the sound. If you are going to use them, then a little bit of glue is needed. Be careful not to put the glue in the hole. It may be easier to glue the pads if you remove the bridge from the ligature. When doing this, remember which way the bridge came out so that you can put it back the same way. On my ligature, the logo on the bridge faced the sides of the string ends. The ligature comes in various sizes and on their website you can input the make and type of your mouthpiece and it will tell you what size of ligature you should get. As you can see this ligature is a size 8 for a medium outer mouthpiece but there is also a size 7 for a small outer mouthpiece. If the ligature does not fit your mouthpiece well for whatever reason, all ligatures can be increased or decreased by one size by using a 1.5mm hexa wrench or allen key. So doing this will void your warranty. So again, check the website, which will tell you how to do this. When the ligature is on the mouthpiece, the two cords should be facing the tip of the mouthpiece and the three cords should be at the back. The tension adjustment screw can be centered at the top of the mouthpiece or positioned to the side away from the nose. Having it towards the side will not affect the sound, but may be more comfortable for some. The puller should be parallel with the mouthpiece. If not, then you will need to make some adjustments to the cords. This is explained on their website. The fine tuner bars on the side can be moved up or down to change the color, tone or focus of the sound. Having them in a higher position will produce a darker tone, having them in a lower position will produce a brighter tone. The Cryo 4 has two fine tuners on both sides to add more harmonics to the sound. When setting up the ligature, at first you should tighten it sufficiently so that the cords are firm. By doing so, the cords will begin to take the shape of the mouthpiece. Afterwards, you should experiment with how firm you want the cords to be to allow the reed to vibrate more, which is the main purpose of the ligature. Over time, the cords will gradually take the shape of the mouthpiece and your sound will improve. And for this reason, it's not a good idea to swap and change mouthpieces with this ligature. So when it comes to ligatures, there are basically two opinions. On the one hand, you have some musicians that will say, so long as the table of the mouthpiece is flat and the reed is flat, so that when they come together, it creates a good seal, it doesn't really matter what ligature you use because they'll all sound the same. Because the table of the mouthpiece is flat and the reed is flat, and all that the ligature is doing is holding the reed to the mouthpiece. If, however, you had a mouthpiece where the table was not flat but warped or deformed in some way, or if you had a reed that was not flat because over time it soaked up water and began to swell, then when you put the reed on top of the mouthpiece, it wouldn't create a good seal. And therefore, if you use different ligatures, some ligatures will compensate more and create a better seal than other ligatures, and that's where you get a difference in sound. So if you've got a good ligature, which is able to compensate that the table is not flat or the reed is not flat, then you get a good sound. If you've got a ligature that can't compensate uh, and it doesn't create a good seal, then you get a poor sound. But basically they will say that so long as the table of the mouthpiece is flat and the reed is flat, it doesn't matter 
what ligature you use, they all have the same sound. And you can find lots of people that believe this because you can find lots of videos online where they compare different ligatures, expensive ligatures with cheap ligatures, with reeds held on with a piece of string or a bit of tape or a cable tie or a clamp. And the basis of these videos is to show that it doesn't matter how you secure your reed to your mouthpiece, they will all sound the same. Now, on the other hand, you have another group of musicians that will say that ligatures do make a difference to the sound. And uh, what they would argue is that ligatures are made of all different designs. Some have plates, some don't have plates. They're all made of different materials, metal, plastic, leather, cloth, string. And all these materials have different properties. Some are more elastic than others. So when you use them to secure the reed to the mouthpiece, some of these ligatures will allow the reed to vibrate more or less, depending on what ligature you use and what material, whether it has a plate or not. Now, if you've got a reed that vibrates more on the table of the mouthpiece, then what's gonna happen within that sound produced, you're gonna get a lot more stronger partials or overtones or harmonics giving you a more enriched sound. If you've got a ligature that dampens the reed so the reed vibrates less, then those overtones, harmonics or partials will not be so strong so you will not get this uh, great enriched tone. And this is the uh, idea of the Silverstein ligature. If you go on the website, you will see two pictures of the sound wave produced when these ligatures are used on a certain note. And you can see the picture of the Silverstein uh, ligature with lots of strong overtones, whereas the same note produced with another ligature, the overtones are not so prominent. Of those musicians that do believe that ligatures do make a difference, some of them will actually tell you that this difference is only heard by the person playing the saxophone. The audience will not hear the difference in the tone. But the person playing the saxophone, because they play it every day when they practice, they are fully aware of how they sound. When they try a new ligature, they'll be able to hear the difference in the tone that they produce, or it may even feel different. The reed may be more responsive, or it may be more free blowing, or darker, or brighter, etc. Now, you may ask the question why then buy a new ligature if the only person that hears it, hears a change in tone or feels a difference, is the person that plays it and the audience won't notice any difference. Well, the idea behind it is that if you as a musician use a ligature and you believe that that ligature is creating a better tone for you, or you believe when you use that ligature, the reed is more free blowing or more uh, responsive to you, then that will cause you to play better and indirectly the audience will hear better playing from you because you are more confident with your instrument. Personally, I think it's a personal thing. Some people will use a ligature and will hear a difference or feel a difference, whereas others will play that same ligature and not feel any difference or hear, hear any difference. So it's a personal thing. So if you want to know if a ligature is better or not, I think the best thing to do is try it out for yourself. I don't really believe in these comparison videos because I don't believe that the sound that is played on these videos actually pick up the difference that the ligature is actually making. Because I think once you record the sound and then you upload it, that sound is changed in the compression. And so you don't really hear any subtle differences that the ligature is actually making. If you do hear any difference, I don't believe it is due to the ligature itself. I think it's due to the person playing the song because obviously they're gonna to have to try and play the same song the same way with the same inflections and emotions as they did before. And I think it's kind of difficult when you play it and then you've got to take off a ligature and then put another ligature on and then try and play the same thing and try and play it the same way. So I think when you have these comparison videos, what is picked up on the audio is the playing of the person rather than the actual changing in tone from the ligature. So I think comparison videos are a total waste of time. So what do I think of this ligature? Well, I've just had it, so I'm going to play it for a few months before I actually give my verdict on it. But one thing I will say, when I first started learning to play the saxophone, I was of the opinion that ligatures don't make any difference whatsoever. And if you are of this opinion, that means that you're not going to buy a ligature. 
because if you don't think a, leg a ligature makes any difference then obviously you're not going to buy a ligature because it'd be a waste of money so I decided I wasn't going to buy a ligature but over time I watched lots of videos about ligatures and did a lot of read up on it and so I came to the conclusion that let me try a ligature so I did some research and the ligature that I came up with at that time as being the best one that I came up with was the Van Doren Optimum ligature so I bought that and that was about 70 to 80 pounds and 70 80 pounds at that time I thought you know it's a ridiculous amount of money for a ligature which is to my opinion at that time was not going to do much but anyway when I bought the ligature I actually fell in love with the ligature not because the ligature changed my tone in any way but because there were other properties to that ligature that I liked. Number one, that the ligature was so easy to use. It had one screw, the knob was kind of big, so it's easy to turn, and it had a double threaded screw. So when you turned it a little bit, it would tighten down with a good amount of force. Some of the other ligatures that I use when I would set up the mouthpiece and then try to screw it onto the neck of the saxophone, the ligature would move and then I'd have to set it up again. Or I'd have to tighten it, quite a bit to get the ligature to stay but with the Van Doren Optimum it was just a quick turn and it held it in place and never moved so you know I kind of fell in love with that ligature so if you get a ligature maybe you might get one not because that it's going to affect your sound but there might be some other qualities to the ligature uh, that you find appealing like I did with this um, Van Doren Optimum so I'm going to play this uh, ligature for a few months then if it is better than my Van Doren Optimum or equal to it then I'll do another video doing a comparison between the two and I'll give you my viewpoints on it. But at the moment what I do find is that putting a ligature on the mouthpiece is a lot more easier with the Van Doren Optimum than with this Silverstein ligature because with the Van Doren, I just put it on and then turn the screw. I find that the way I put on the Silverstein ligature, I have to lift the bridge up, put it on, and then make sure that the, the bridge is in an upright position before I screw it in place. It doesn't take that much longer, but uh, it is something that I'm gonna have to get used to. Well, hopefully you found this video helpful in some way, and let me know what your favorite ligature is or whether you think that ligatures do actually make a difference to the sound or whether you actually Feel something when you actually play with different ligatures. And I shall see you soon. Bye bye.